guys welcome back for another vlog and if you're new welcome let me start this vlog off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear god you know everything before i do you know me better than i know myself so you know that these days mentally it's been a constant battle with society standards and my own expectations of myself in my mind I feel as if I'm moving slow and stagnant. I feel like my best is never good enough and everything else around me is moving quickly. I know that uneasy feeling isn't from you. I rebuke any thoughts of self-doubt and uncertainty out of my life. Replace those thoughts with new ideas and confidence. Please remind me that I'm not in a rush. Help me place all my trust in you and everything will fall into place on your divine timing. And now when I feel I want it, I thank you for your grace and mercy. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. So I pray that prayer blesses you guys today. All right, y'all. So today is Tuesday. I don't have much going on today. Uh, yesterday, I went hard. And I mean, I went hard. I even did Destiny's hair last night, y'all, because her hair, it needed to be done. So I didn't have enough time on Sunday to do it. And I went ahead and did it yesterday. And I went to bed after that. I took a shower and went to bed. So and that is done. But today I'm taking like a active rest day. I did not work out today. I've been working out hard every single day and I feel like my body needs a break. So today I'm not working out, but I'm still moving around. <laughs> I purposely, one thing I do y'all, one thing I have been doing, I park far away. At the under, other end of the parking lot, I park far away and make my way to the front wherever I go. Um, that's if there is like a far away parking. Um, what else I do? I purposely go up and down the stairs. Normally, I try to get as much stuff as I can with my hands. But now, I grab a few things, come up the stairs, drop it off, go back downstairs. You know, just do things over and over again. To be, That's what I call active rest days. So, clean around, clean the house. That's a workout itself, so that's an active rest day for me. And I'm gonna probably do a little cleaning around here. But, today's Tuesday, like I told you guys, how did the spelling bee go on Saturday? Let me tell you guys. Now, I will say, it was an experience, we're glad we did it. Um, but I will say, and I've never been put in this position before, where your kid is super smart, like David has been tested, both David and Devin have been tested and their IQs are very high. Very high. So, David has autism. And, but he is high functioning autistic. And he is smart as a whip. When I tell you, that kid knows, he memorizes everything from four years ago. And he will tell you exactly what day is on, is on what day, what holiday will land on which day, four to five years, maybe even seven years from now. He is very good with that. So we're, when we went to Spelling Bee, everybody's kids in there is smart. Everybody's kids. We were surrounded by smart kids in the room. It was 23 children. Okay. Now, they made the parents. Some people brought, their school county brought like a sponsor or a child advocate, which could lift up a flag and say, hey, my student or child did not listen or didn't understand your question. Can you repeat that? They didn't. They thought you said something else. Basically, you're, you're that child's advocate. So most of us were parents, so we got to um, be an advocate. So I sat in the front. All the advocates sat in the front. And John and the kids sat in the back. Well, the parents, this was their moment, you know. This spelling bee took six hours. David did not win. He made it almost right up to the end. But it took so long to the point that he was starting to get second guess himself. The parents, again, I it was my first time seeing how, I want to say how nasty parents can get, but they like to, when it comes to the kids, they'll do whatever they need to do. They said, we're going to go to um, Maryland for the competition. Because right after this would have been state, and after state, it would have been Maryland, okay? There's this one particular parent, it started with her. She raised her flag, and she, her... We all heard the child, the word was hatat or something like that. She, you had to repeat the word and then spell it out. You could tell she didn't understand, she didn't know how to spell that word. She said, hatat? Can you say it in a, in a sentence? Can you say it in a meaning? They told me this, this word is also Greek. You know, Greek words, so that's why I love H. 
she said haptat and started spelling it, but she got it wrong. And then at the end, she didn't say haptat, she said laptat. Her mom raised the flag. My daughter did not understand the word. She said laptat. We all heard haptat at the beginning. You know, once you finish spelling the word, you can't go back. You could go half, if you didn't finish spelling it, you could start over. But once you finish, finish spelling that word, that's it. And she threw a fit. Now the child, the mother, threw a fit. No, no. And I mean, they were going back and forth because they had like moderators, you know, making sure nobody was cheating because parents cheat and spells the words out for the kids too. That's another one. I couldn't film in there, anything in there. No cameras. My phones, everybody's phones had to be turned off. This was serious stuff. I wasn't ready for this. To the point that she was not taking their decision down. They took her to the side. She started arguing with the judges. And then she started to cry her crocodile tears. And they were crocodile, because I'll tell you this. One, it took an entire hour. And then once she got what she wanted, which they let her child back in, she sat down and gave this big smile, like, you know, like I got what I wanted. She looked at her kid, we got this. And sure enough, they let the little kid back in. That was just the beginning. It was like four parents. This, it was only five rounds. And this five rounds took six hours because parents were going out. There was some that were, um, they had reason to, um advocate for their kids but the, the the others not so much um so no there were some that did not get away with it and did not was not able to put their kid back in the competition um some people can get away with it some others can't you know so there's that and it took six hours and by the end of it we were ready to go home but he did so well that he made it right up to the end and he knew the word. He got frustrated because he knew the word, but you know how you look at a word and the word is not, doesn't look like, no, that don't sound right. Like, no, I don't think that's right. And he started to second guess himself. He was already tired and he got the word wrong. So there's that, he did his best. We are so proud of him. We are so very proud of him. Um, this was his last year to be able to do a spelling me because he's in eighth grade. He's going to high school this year. Can't believe it. another high school kid coming up and the other one wants to drive and do all the things. So um, that's how it went on Saturday, Sunday. I went to church for the first time. I've been watching from home, but I went to church for the first time and I was very much missed, which felt kind of good. You know, you don't want to go somewhere where you don't, people don't even notice you've been gone. So. That felt good. So we kind of getting back to the swing of things. I will say though that normally on Sundays, if you've been here for a while, I normally on Sundays, I prep breakfast, I clean, I do laundry, I do all the things to prep for the week. My energy levels are not there yet. That's why I had to wash Destiny's hair on yesterday because I just couldn't do it all. I really lost all the energy. So there's that. I'm trying to work my way up there. And today I have to listen to my body and kind of take a rest day. So that's the story time catching up. Mom made it safely back to Dominican Republic. She is there good. She's unpacking and she says she's really tired right now because, you know, traveling. She took a lot of luggage. She took like big three ones, like three big ones and a very hairy backpack. So she's kind of exhausted and putting things away. But you guys will start seeing mom soon, hopefully. Um, I'm going to text her to see if she has any video clips. To, if she does, she'll send it to me. But yeah, guys, that's the update. I'm going to be doing some stuff around the house. I did stop by Ross on Sunday. I'm ready to not get rid of my calendar, but I don't want it right there because I use my planner more and I feel like it needs to look a little nicer. So let me move this camera. I'm going to show you why, show you guys what I found. I went to Ross. Not the one Ross here in Augusta because the one here in Augusta sucks. It's this organized and it's pretty empty. But I found this beautiful golden plate. It was $24.99. Let me back up so you guys can see it. All right. Sorry. This is, isn't it pretty? It's upside down. All right, sorry, y'all. It was $24.99 and I really like it. And I feel like it's gonna look really good right there. So I'm just waiting for John. Oh, are they individual? No, it's on a like a, a stick or something. I'm just waiting for John to put it up there for me because it's gonna look really good. Oh, I can't wait. So I got that to put right up here. And then I also stopped this weekend by, I stopped by um, Bath and Body Works. They had 
$13.95 candles. And I also had the $10 off a of $30 uh, coupon. I had a free gift coupon and some other coupon. So I went there and got that. I'll show you guys the candles later. I want to get my day started, but I don't know. I'm moving kind of slow. All right, y'all. So I am in Destiny's room. It's not terrible in here or anything. It's just, it needs my sort of touch. Um, okay, so y'all remember I, I was telling you guys that Destiny has been making bracelets. So she has like all her bracelet stuff here. I don't know where to put it. But I don't want to touch it right now. I need to find a way to organize it. So yeah, she has a lot of stuff. Like, what's the all this? A broken bead. But I want to be able to organize it better. So if you guys have any ideas, just let me know down in the comments. I know this sounds weird, but y'all, when I go into Destiny's room, I'm like, I get excited. I sat down in this chair, I'm like, oh yay, I get to play with Destiny stuff. <laughs> I love it. I love messing with her things and organizing it, putting it where it's supposed to go. Um, <laughs> I just have fun in here. I've heard new love is so beautiful. Time is what makes it ugly. But time after time and through every turn in this life I could use some stability We fly and we fall but we don't fall apart Break after break each piece of my heart Lovers have come and lovers have gone but you still feel like right when the whole world feels wrong they say actually putting a ho away her valentine's day decor that she had on her dress so y'all remember right before my surgery i decorated her tear tray with valentine's day stuff soon i'm going to decorate it with easter items so i think i got me i have to make a stop at the dollar tree for that i also going to ask john to get my easter decor bins out i'm not going to go full-blown crazy with easter everywhere um not like christmas christmas is the house where i had like six trees and did the whole thing y'all but Every other, like every holiday after that, I don't decorate for all the holidays, but the ones that I do, it's like very minimal. So I did tell you guys I was going to show you the candles that I got from Bath and Body Works. So I'm sure you've seen the, this one's a very popular scent. I did go in there looking for more neutral color candle like packaging because they have the Easter candles out. But a lot of times with the holiday candles, 
I don't use the candles in time. And then I have a very Easterish or Valentine's Day-ish type of packaging on the candle now already. I mean, I'm still using it. You get what I'm saying? So I got this one. So I did get more of a neutral color that matches pretty much the house. I got the sun dredge linen and it smells so, so good. Oh, it smells like Tide detergent. No. Yeah, like laundry soap. That's what it smells like. That's what this one smells like a laundry soap. So I got that one. I got four. Whenever they have a sale, I usually get like four of them. The next one I got was cardamom and ver vertiver. This is the packaging. This one smells really good. It, it smells like it, it says it's warm cardamom, vertiver, and white amber scented candle made with natural essential oils. But it smells like a men's cologne, but a lighter scent. Not like the other one, the main one that a lot of people like. That one gives me a headache, but this one's very light. And that's why I like it. Because a lot of the candles there, I had to smell them. Because some of them, I could tell, would give me a headache. Because the smell is so strong. So I didn't get them. This one is Wild Rose and Suede. It has pink tea rose, soft suede, and warm amber. It smells really good. Oh, it's, this one smells like cologne as well, but mixed with Irish Spring. I don't know how to explain. I'm I'm terrible. I describe it since. Yeah, it smells really good. I can't wait to burn these. And then the last one I got was the white tea and sage this one is sparkling bergamot white tea and fresh sage so this is the candle oh this one smells so good i don't know what this one smells like i can't describe the smell but just know that it smells amazing oh my god so I can't wait to finish burning the one I have on the table, which is the one from Aldi. It's only one candle that I get from Aldi, which is the white vanilla. <laughs> it's called vanilla snow or something like that. There was one that smelled like uh, almonds, but they don't have that anymore. But it's this one right here. And I took the packaging off because I don't like to keep the packaging in the front. Um, but I'm still burning that one. It smells good. I like it because it's really neutral. So that's what I'm burning right now. And then I had stopped at Ross and got uh, some Easter Easter bunny, but this one is marble and it's very heavy. And this was $10.99. So I thought this was pretty cute. I don't know where it's going to go. It might go in the kitchen and stuff. I'm going to be decorating for spring very soon. I'm gathering. It's not gonna be crazy because I don't go full on, full out, but it's gonna be very light. And I'm going with a different kind of color theme this year. So it was all inspired by that picture that I found at the Salvation Army. That kind of color is what I'm gearing towards for spring and summer because I'm not just doing something for spring. But I'll switch some stuff out for summer if that makes sense with the same kind of color theme. But I'll be decorating soon. So I'm looking for a, a few different pieces. And I found this one and I thought it, was, it went very well. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'm looking forward to decorating, give it the house a little refresh. I like to decorate, not change everything out, but like switch things around because this is what makes it fun, especially, especially because of the fact that I spend so much time here. I work in here and I just love being home. So I try to make the home feel nice and cozy and just peaceful to want to just stay home, you know? All right, y'all, so this is my candle drawer in my living room. This is where I keep the candles. One of them was also, this is the free candle that I got from Bath & Body Works. I forgot to show you guys this one. This one smells really good, oh my God. Okay, so a lot of these small ones that you see like this in here, they were uh, free items. That's what I love about rewards. This was a free item, a fall candle. Our, there's a friend from church that we have, they sell these candles. This is the brand. This one's a Christmas scent though. I need, I know they're going to be out there at the farmer's market, so I need to make my way there to buy some more from them. What else I have in here? Fall candle. This smells really good. I'm not really a pumpkin set type of girl, but when I tell you this smells good, <laughs> I don't know. I, I turned into somebody else this, uh, when, this fall. All of a sudden, I like pumpkin. That's crazy. 
Let me see what else I have in here. I'm gonna put these back. Put this back in here. And I think I have another fall candle drawer. I think the one at the bottom. See, this is my mom's favorite drawer. My mom would go in here and she will pick out a new candle. She loves burning candles. She'll pick out a new candle, just you know, do what she wanna do. And I'm all for it. <laughs> oh, another drawer. I thought I had less. So I don't buy candles very often. It took me a very long time to buy. Last time I bought candles was around the fall time when you saw that pumpkin candle. That was actually in July. Um, so it's what. February no yeah it's February the end of February and what's this one eucalyptus rain smells good this one's from Dollar Tree and it has no smell I don't know how, how I even made this way here so let me get that out this one is from Walmart you already know this one this one smells really good these are from Bath and Body Works but excuse me <clears throat> another good brand is Goose Creek candles. I've been enjoying those and I've used all of them up. Sometimes when my friends come over, I gift them a candle. I don't like people leaving my house without a gift. I don't know, it's this thing I have. I like to give them something. So the one I was telling you guys, this one comes from Aldi. I like it because it's like four or five dollars. And this was first snow. I take this packaging off and it'll be just a white candle burning. Smells really good. So I have that. And then, of course, the brand I told you guys about. Our friends sell these. Oh, it smells amazing. This one smells like um, bar soap. You know what? Let me leave this out. I can put this in my room. It smells really good. But these are all the candles. I, sometimes people give me candles. So I like to have a candle drawer. And in this drawer, I also have, like, room sprays. I have essential oils, stuff like that. But, oh, y'all know that leaves candle smells amazing. This is another uh, another one from Aldi. It's vanilla scented candle. I'm not really a big vanilla person, but this one doesn't smell too bad. But yep, those are my candle drawers. All right, y'all, so it's kind of lunchtime. I did try to eat something. So on Sundays, today's Tuesday, I made white bean chicken chili, mainly for lunch and for me to have lunch at least for two days. I made that for the kids. The kids took that to school yesterday. They really enjoyed it. Anyways, but I ate it today and my stomach does not like it today. I noticed after the second or third day, the if I made something, my stomach doesn't like it. So milk prep for me right now is not something I can handle because every single time without fail, by the second and third day, my stomach doesn't like it anymore. So I was not able to finish it, which is crazy because it was only like a quarter cup of white bean chicken chili. So I was only able to eat like half of that. So I just want like a little snack. And I saw somebody do this on TikTok. I go there for ideas. So this is the her salami. I got the chive onion, the, um, the spread, cream cheese spread, and some pickles. So basically someone just used one, like one slice of the salami and then just put some cream cheese on it with a pickle and ate it that way. It's like a low carb snack. I just want something and I have like a uh, low sugar or sugar free apple sauce in the refrigerator but the last time I tried to eat that it was like nice going down my throat and I almost tried it again because maybe I just caught, caught my stomach on a bad day you know maybe that's what it was but then I ain't trying to chance it not today anyway I got in an hour I have to go pick Destiny up from school I just want like a little snack. There are days that I have like a high restriction day. And there's days that I'm like, I could eat. And today is that. And I think it's because my cycle is trying to come. And yes, that's one of the things that my cycles is kind of out of whack right now. It, it's out of whack. And I feel like it's coming, but because of my appetite is kind of up there. But it's not here yet. It's just torturing me because I have a headache. I can't get rid of, but I have it, you know? Okay. So I add some of these pickles. These pickles are so good. If you've never tried these pickles before, these are the, um, the Grillo's pickles. These are really good. They're clean. Ingredients in there is pretty simple. It only has cucumbers, 
the brine, which is water, distilled vinegar, salt, garlic, dill, and grape leaves. That's it. That's the only thing it has in there. And they're delicious. And they don't even, have, like the garlic is like actual cloves of garlic. So this is the only thing I have. <laughs> Just a little snacky snack. I could bend it up. Oh, I'm on. Eat that, and then I have the uh, Zupa Toscana and the slow cooker, y'all. I, you guys asked me, have I? You said yes, yes, I have. Right now, I have the Zupa Toscana in there, which let me stir it up. It's time, and I'm loving it because I can literally cook the food, like the ground. I cooked the ground turkey, everything in here. I didn't have to transfer nothing over. I'm gonna put this back on low. So dinner's out the way. I didn't film it because I did it. I prepped everything early this morning. I did it in my pajamas. Put this in the sink. As far as the soup recipe go, I will make sure to leave the link down in my description box just in case you guys want to go ahead and try it. Right now with this stage of life I'm in, all slow cooker meals are my easiest ones to make, even before my surgery. They're just my easiest ones to make. I like to put everything in in the morning and by the evening time, it's all done. Um, tomorrow we have track meat, so probably do the same thing, which put some food in the slow cooker, and then it'll be done in the evening. Destiny has, um, on Thursday she has a Black History performance, and I'm looking forward to that. She's uh, She's been practicing every day. I had to pick her up late. But, um, yeah, y'all, I literally have something going on every single day. So, to make sure that my kids, my kids, my husband, Everyone has a home cooked meal. The slow cooker is my best friend. I also like one pot meals and instant pots and stuff like that. All right, y'all. So John is getting ready to hang up my little plates. I don't know what to call them besides little plates, gold plates, but I love the way it turned out. So that's what we ended up doing the rest of the evening. So I, I had finished the dinner. Everyone had eaten or whatever. So I came into my office to edit this video and I had to clean the kitchen and stuff like that but I was able to I'm so glad he was able to put this stuff up so like that I could, I could show you guys what it looks like Thank you.